Y'all see that? Here at the comment. <laughs> Okay, take your time. I don't know what I want yet. He's on me. Okay, I have a question. What is uh, Cafe Olat? Ol uh, that's going to be, it's basically going to be our regular uh, drink coffee. So that's a coffee. And then we just steam it. Hmm. It's really good. I think you'll like it. I always tell people that it's like, you know, whether you want like the cold mm -hmm. the creamer in it or whether you want the creamer. I want something it's sweet this morning. Um, I can do a uh, cold, like a cold Because yeah. I was fixing to say, we can still do um, a Cuban. Or if you know an alternative rather than sweet. Uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so what a Cuban is, the bottom is typically sweet and it's snow. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's going to be espresso and steam milk, so it's going to be super sweet. Mm -hmm. And so, So that's what a lot of people go to. They want something like this. I think I'm gonna try that. Yeah. I'm experimenting these days. <laughs> Trust me, I, I'm the same way. I'm more of a fall type of soldier. Yeah, I'm me too. Me too. So, so I like the caramels and mm -hmm. the, all that. So I would show you how people get those fall drinks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really like a good um, for another thing to try, I don't know if you've tried it yet, it's going to be a Cafe Con Miel. Say it again now. It's Cafe Con Miel. Con Miel. And so what it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a honey base. Honey? Espresso, oh, that sounds good. Uh, milk, and then some of the nuggets. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> I was talking about so that. yeah, this is where next Sunday, we will be doing... We, Mr. Dell, my pastor Dell, Dr. Dell, I don't know what to call this dude, <laughs> my home walk. We're doing the uh, Soul Tide Seminar next Sunday. And I know y'all probably think I just be promoting this stuff and talking about him. Don't get me wrong, it's very personal. It's one of my best friends, but. It didn't happen automatically. You know, over the years, I have been blessed over and over and over. And then I've heard so many other testimonies, not just my own. So I wouldn't bother doing this if it wasn't like amazing. Y'all know I don't post everything and post everybody. That's because everything is not good quality. And some things I know only I will enjoy. They're very unique to me. But Pastor Bell is not one of those things. Like, you will not be disappointed if you come. You're going to be here. It's not going to be all night. But I'm telling you, you'll be tremendously blessed. It won't be so noisy because they won't be making coffee and teas that night. But, uh, but yeah, it's a nice environment. I, I love this atmosphere. Who doesn't love a good coffee shop atmosphere, right? How could you not love it? Can you come hang out with us? And it ain't even about me. I want you to come and see and experience this for yourself. That's why I'm going so hard about this. If you've seen me in the last couple of weeks, that's all you done heard about. Come to the South Side Seminar. Come to the South Side Seminar. Because it is going to bless you every single time. Whether you're married, single, children, no children, divorced. It's going to be incredible. And I'm not, 
you know, I grew up in the Red and Rainbow era, where he says, Let's sit right here. Uh. Good morning. Good morning. You How are you? Can turn that light for you? Oh, uh, yeah. That is when, it's, when it's dark outside, it gets so dark in here. Mm-hmm. So I got coffee. It smells so good. I love the smell of coffee. post this on my blog too if I can keep it within time like you should definitely come out to this event next Sunday afternoon at 3 you will not be here all night but you will be tremendously blessed oh that's what I was saying I grew up um, watching Reading Rainbow and LeVar he always said don't you don't have to take my word for it um, there are so many other people that have testimonies but if you come out and invest this moment in time, you'll walk away from it with a little better understanding of why I'm always posting these things, <laughs> and uh, and and it will bless you. It will bless your life, even if you never come in the end, which you should. Ooh. It'll bless your life like this coffee. This is so good. <laughs> Uh, it's called the Cuban. This is really good. Okay. This is one of my favorite things. <laughs> one of my new favorite things. <laughs> Alright. So yes, I will definitely be getting this again and again and again. <laughs> it's like a morning milkshake. Especially if it was like cool outside. Can you get this going? That would make it even better. The only thing that would make this better is if it was cool outside. <laughs> I forgot just real quick. Did it say Cuban or Colombian? I think it said Cuban because Colombian is a type of rope. I think it said Cuban. Definitely don't get this again. I think they said they're sweet and condensed milk and then I love sweet and condensed milk, so it's one of my favorite ingredients for things. But yeah, apparently there was only one person on and they got off. Maybe somebody will watch the replay. I just wanted to uh, let y'all know this event, there's no way to explain it. You have to come, no matter how many videos and clips and stuff, because I will be posting some things.
Like it's one of those things you have to come to and experience it and hear it for yourself because there's so many different things to get from, you know, when 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 that kind of teaching is gone. And like, you know, I've heard people say some people say they don't believe in soul ties because it's not in the Bible or whatever. But really, that's just semantics because soul ties is just a a phrase used to describe, you know, our connection to other people, um, even our connection to God, but also uh, friends and family and all that. It's just how we relate to each other. It's not that it's not that deep, but it, it is that deep because every person you come into contact with affects your life, and when you're in closer relationship, there affects your life even more. And this is not just intimate you know, sexual relationship, but this is with parents, this is with friends, and that's, that's, I think, my biggest testimony from this Soul Ties ministry is how it has improved so much the quality of my friendships um, and me recognizing who's my friend and who I'm a friend to and how can I be a better friend because I see myself in this too. I'm like, I could be better at communicating, you know. And but yeah, it, it deals with that. I've heard other people talk about, you know, relationships and divorces and all of that and new love, old love and all of those things. I've heard all of these testimonies because I've been around the Soul Ties ministry for a couple of years for a couple of years. For it's been ten years really. Cause back in 2013 when the first book came out um the, we did a book signing um back then it was in jackson it was in jackson and it was q a and it was it was like really dope like that was before the the actual seminars were a thing but i was so blown away by how this book and this person is able to minister to so many different people from so many different walks of life. And that's why I invite all kinds of people because like me, I feel like my scope is limited. I don't know but so much. And even the things I do know, I don't know how to relate to people who have had different types of life than me. But Pastor Dale, the doctor, he didn't get that degree for nothing, okay? He is amazingly, organically incredible at communicating these concepts and how to practically apply them to your life. These principles, not concepts, principles. And over and over and over again, I've seen like, so I mean, I remember I went to one soul ties and I was having a good time and we get there and it's not five minutes into him talking and the lady sits, sitting next to me just started crying she was like I was like wow okay this is legit it ain't just me y'all I know I'm Mr. Bell's number one fan nobody's ever gonna fan out like me but you will be blessed period and I'm just telling you to come through next Sunday you got a week you don't have to dress up, but if you want to be cute, you got a week to pick out your outfit, a week and a day, okay? And you just come and be comfortable and enjoy yourself, because it's a lot. Yes. At the coffee shop. I'm looking forward to seeing y'all there. I'm about to enjoy the rest of my day. The Cuban, get you one of these. If you ever come to the Humboldt Coffee Shop, get you one of these. The Cuban is really good. Superior. 